to my next life Had to get it out the mud sometimes the whole night Grew up in the slums, nigga, you would say it's trife I never had it made, nigga, I had to get it right Finna ball on these niggas to my next life Had to get it out the mud sometimes the whole night Grew up in the slums, nigga, you would say it's trife I never had it made, nigga, I had to get it right Never had it swishing, nigga, never had it made I ain't get no allowance, had to get out and get paid I didn't carry glizzes and carry shakes in that cage Them finesse niggas and some more, I had to make a way Grew up in the slums, nigga, my city the slums And we got the murder race, I was steady coming I done had the best shit, wasn't even the bummest That's why I told myself I had to go and make some money Got it out the mud, don't fuck with niggas like a stud Cause niggas snakes back doing when you show them love Everybody wanna be a gangster, everybody thugs I never had a choice, that shit that's really in my blood Finna ball on these niggas to my next life Had to get it out the mud sometimes the whole night Grew up in the slums, nigga, you would say it's trife I never had it made, nigga, I had to get it right Finna ball on these niggas to my next life Had to get it out the mud sometimes the whole night Grew up in the slums, nigga, you would say it's trife I never had it made, nigga, I had to get it right My life was trife, it was where I had shit nice Mama a single parent, daddy barely in my life that shit made me a soldier all my life. I had to fight. Open with free ugly, searching, I don't even write. Never understood the cap that these niggas rap. It's really niggas out here living this, don't want to trap. Wishing I wake up from this nap to see my little brother. Lord, tell me why you had to take my little brother. Steady taking L's, I never fail. I never tell. I'm back in that cell. For mine's, I'm going to hell. For mine's, I'm going to bail. For mine's, I'm going to jail. I don't like it, oh well. Spin the ball on these niggas to my neck. Life. Had to get it out the mud sometimes the whole night Grew up in the slums, nigga, you would say it's trife I never had it made, nigga, I had to get it right Fill the ball on these niggas to my next life Had to get it out the mud sometimes the whole night Grew up in the slums, nigga, you would say it's trife I never had it made, nigga, I had to get it right Welcome, 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 welcome to the greatest show in the world the Spillover yeah, you already know who it is, Drake Lockhead. Reggie. It's big, bro. <laughs> we doing another remote podcast. I love I love technology, man. I'm in uh out of town right now. Kansas City. Bro, where he at in St. Louis? Uh Reggie, where he at in St. Louis? We just we we all come together like the Wonder Twins, bum, bum, bum. the Wonder Triplets. Yes, this is the greatest show in the world. You know how we kick it off always. Uh, let's do it with the S in the spill sports. Uh, Reggie, what you got for us? Well, in case y'all didn't see, Cam Newton had a uh, a horrible start. He got benched. You couldn't wait, bro. He got benched, and they yeah. and the backup still got his ass whooped. So it was nothing they could yeah, do. Yeah, that yeah, line yeah, is yeah, horrible, bro. Bad. That line is horrible, horrible. It ain't got nothing to do with Cam. I like how you tried to highlight like it was his fault. I didn't say I didn't say it had nothing to do with Cam. You man, I just said he got benched. That's probably the biggest thing that happened this weekend. Oh, that's the biggest thing that happened this weekend. How about them Cowboys? Yeah. They got beat. Yeah, that that's bigger than what injuries and COVID is killing them. Now they just lost some more people to COVID. They head coach <laughs> is on the COVID list. He ain't gonna be there for the game. They losing coaches. They using they losing players to injury and COVID. It's not it's not good right now. It's not good right now. I don't know who's gonna be coaching the game this week. What else you got? I'm waiting for uh, you to say something about him. Well, who? Still getting ass hit? Huh? I was like, you talking about the Steelers and Mike Tomlin getting his ass hit? Man, that's... That, uh, that also happened. That's empty, empty news. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. Lamar Jackson also looks horrible. He probably should have got benched. I don't know if y'all saw that game. He was terrible. And I like Lamar, but man, he was basically like four picks. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. could have been picked. Why? Why these? Why? Why these 
Bro, why why Stephen A hate hate on Lamar so much, man? He just don't like him because he uh he not traditional. Stephen A like traditional quarterbacks. They easier to judge. They easier to look at numbers and try to put them in a uh in a box if they good or bad. Quarterbacks like Lamar and like Cam in two thousand fifteen, quarterbacks like that, you can't really just go to their passing numbers and talk about their effects on the game. It just don't work. And they don't like that. A lot of analysts don't like that. They're like, they ever sit there, not watch the game, look at the win and the loss, and then look at their numbers and say, okay, he played bad or he played, you know, horrible. Because Camden had games and Lamar had games that threw 100 yards, 100 something yards passing and was amazing. And they had games that threw for 250 plus and wasn't that good. Or sometimes was amazing. Like I said, it's hard to judge quarterbacks like that. And he's one of the people I know that don't like that. He act like he don't like analytics and looking at just numbers, but I think that's mostly when it comes to basketball. Me try. Me personally, that's what I think. When it comes to Stephen A. been having some trash takes lately. Some yeah, yeah. Man, I think they, they spread him a little too thin, man. He just on every channel. He got to talk about everything. I don't even think he be having time to think. He just be like, Stephen A., something happened. Talk about it. Bro, Riddick, uh, J, uh, J.J. Riddick and, uh, and uh, 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 Evans. No, was it Evans? Uh, who the other analysts they be? Keyshawn Johnson. Man, they tore asshole out of him, man. On, on on a basketball topic, Keyshawn did. I'm like, damn, Stephen A., you sound real dumb. Uh, what was Steve talking about? It has something to do with the. Uh, it has something to do with the Warriors. With the Warriors? I forgot. What did they get on him about the Warriors with? And he's been saying the Warriors are going to be good once they get healthy. And they are. Nah, it was something else. It was something else. Mm. Uh, mm, what they say? Nah, I think he was sounding like you about the uh, the LeBron situation when he got, when he pushed him or whatever. Talking about LeBron should have got suspended for five days or four days or something. Five games? Oh, he tripping. Like four games or some shit. I think like. I did read something about that. I think I did read something about that. They they did that right. They just actually fined LeBron. I don't agree with that. No, they fined LeBron for something else. Leave it alone. They fined LeBron for something else. They fined him for when he made that three. He uh he did the you know the the Tustic in the uh that what's that movie uh with the Cleveland Indians, the baseball movie. Uh, mate, is it Bug? You remember that? That that Cleveland. Not um, shit. Is it Angel? No, I, not I Angel. know. I think I know what you're talking about. Is it Major not League? Is it Major League? Uh, is might it, be Major League. Might be Major League. It's, uh, major. it's not Major League. It, it's that one with the he got he got the goatee. And and the uh, wild thing, dun 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 dun. Yeah, uh, it got a uh, what's his name? The dude. Uh, oh, what's his name, bro? He, oh, he was he lost his career because he 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 got he was a crackhead. Uh, his, in the movie or in real life? Well, no, he's a he's a crackhead in real life, and his dad is a famous actor, and his brother. He ain't no crackhead, man. He a drunk and uh, he got AIDS. Who who you who I'm talking about? Who you talking about? I think of his damn yeah, man. He, uh... Ah, he was on. He, 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 was... Play, he, he played on Two and a Half Men. Two and a Half Men. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Charlie yeah, Sheen. Charlie Sheen was in the movie too. He was the wild thing. He was the pitcher. But anyway, yeah, well, that, that's major league. Yeah. The 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 black bar head did do did that testicle thing. You got big nuts or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's what LeBron did after he made a three, and he got fined, what, $15,000 or something for it? Yeah, $15,000. That's what I'm saying. He can't need that. Yeah. So, so I, I don't like all that, trying to take take uh that type of stuff out of sports. Like, let them do well, it, celebrate. It, well, it, it, it was because it was a, 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 a sexual gesture. That's what they said. Man, I'm like, sure. Man, them kids be out there, man. You got to find But them. if you put now, hey, listen. If you put now to kids as young as six, seven, you know what I'm saying, gender fluidity, leave the bottom fuck alone. So that's why I meant with it. You can grab his nuts all he want to grab. When you tell the kids, hey, if you don't feel like you're a boy, you ain't got to be a boy, that's all sexuality. You can't pick and choose what parts you want to put out there and what parts you don't. Either we're going to talk about it or we Simple as that. Well, we can tell them that they don't want to be boys or girls, but, you know, we can't just grab our nuts. Like, eh, I better go. Man. You are very insensitive, Reggie. Bro, they very insensitive. They only <laughs> care about self. Straight up, like they're the bro. They are the bullies in the world right now. They they they're the only bullies I know that play victim. They constantly want to talk about canceling somebody, canceling somebody, taking away people's livelihood, getting them taken off this. You know what I'm saying? Forcing people. You know what I'm saying? All this different type of stuff with peer pressure. You know what I'm saying? Peer pressure and financial pressure, which is a form of bullying, and still play victim. And everybody just let the shit ride. Like it's cool. Oh, you said... So the government bully, they constantly bullies They pressure us. people. No, 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 no. I ain't talking about the government. I'm talking about the LGBT community. But pressure is pressure. That's what I'm saying. They're bullying people into doing the things they want. But they still claim victim at the same time. They're the only group that claim they victim but constantly bullying people at the same time. They kind of talk about, oh, we so oppressed and this and this and that, and the people just accept us, like, yeah, but then on the flip side, they say, ever come off, you better do this or we going to do that. You better not say this or we going to do this. And all these motherfuckers, they feel like free speech don't apply to them. You can say what you want until it comes to us. Then you better check your goddamn self. You know, in some places, faggot can get you jail time saying that. It is ridiculous. Really? Have a heart. Bro, I, listen. I'm giving out the energy. I'm receiving. That's what they put. That's what they put out there. That's what they deserve back. That's why I'm happy with Chappelle. I support the box. Hey, grab your nuts and then right after you finish that, when they say, don't do this, get them the finger. And be like, until you put a cap on these motherfuckers, don't say shit. Trying to share this shit. Cause I hope LeBron go off on there, man. I hope he don't apologize. Who don't apologize? I said, I hope he don't apologize. Fuck them fans. Them the same fans. I want to cut him out. That if they got the chance and they can get away with that, throw shit at his ass. That are getting the fucking finger and all type of shit. Shit, it might have been a fan, a specific fan he did that to that was probably talking some shit. So you think he can grab his nuts at fans now? Yeah, hell yeah. And I support him. 100%. I wish that a calm saying, eat a dick. These fans be out of control. My mother think that they pay their little ticket. They do whatever the fuck they want to do. I wish these, some of these players to haul off and and hit one of their ass in the chops. Some of that shit, they be out there talking. Under the, and they just, they say it all under the guise of, I paid my money. 
Ain't no damn fire show animals. You throwing peanuts and shit at But yeah, fuck some people that's upset. They can't sensitivity. They only want to be sensitive about certain shit. <laughs> All right, man. What else we got for sports, bro? Anyway, there's just some big signings in uh, Major League Baseball. All the people that say we'll never talk about number football and basketball. There have been some major signings. Uh, I know Max Scherzer, he just moved on. Um, that all star shortstop. Let me get it all pulled up here. It's been steady popping up. These different signings. And while I'm looking for that, how you feel about uh, I don't know how much I watch college football, but uh, Lincoln Riley shaking on Oklahoma to go to USC. And they don't have to sit out no more, do they? No, he coach. Oh, you told me the coach. He the coach. Yeah, he the coach. He was the head coach. I mean, uh, he left him and uh, and went to OU. I really don't care about the coaches. I, I mean, he that. left OU and went to USC. I know uh, what's the name finally beat Ohio. Yeah, Michigan. They said <laughs> they were saying uh, they. Like Ohio, his friend let him beat him because he knew he was going to lose his job if they didn't. This was a year. They would have lost this year. He would have definitely left his job, lost his job. Ah, uh, man, I don't think they don't let him beat him. That's people just, just hating. <laughs> they wanted him fired. <laughs> I don't think no coach is, uh, is letting anybody beat them. These jobs are too precious. You know what I'm saying? If that was to come out in any sort of way, you know what I'm saying? That would uh he would immediately lose his job. Being a scandal might not be able to get another job. Anybody doing all that? Players gonna know. Yeah. Okay. Man, you see uh, Clay Thompson, man, after the game. He's going to be a meme. What are you doing? He sat he just sat there after the game. They won. And he just sat there after the game for like half an hour. Everybody had cleared out and everything. He just sitting there with a towel on his head. Because he can't wait to get back. Oh, no, I know why. I'm just saying it was a sad sight to see. Why was it sad? Just looking at him, man, knowing, knowing how bad he hurt him. I understand, man, as a competitor, loving something and having it right there in your face, and you can't do nothing about it. You can't participate in it. No bad as you want to. He's been rehabbing for two years. He going to be back in around Christmas. Tried to come back. Got hurt again. Rehabbing again. Like, I feel for dude, man. I feel for dude. He's his prime years, too. He ain't getting these back. He's not getting them back. This ain't like when Kobe tore his Achilles, you know what I'm saying, when he was kind of towards the end. But they, you or heard, Shaq tore his. They send him to the G League. Yeah, him and Wiseman, yeah, because he probably got clear, so they're going to sit him there for a few games, let him get his, you know what I'm saying, get that win together, pick that pace up. And if he do well there, then he'll be back. They're saying he'll be back by Christmas, which is cool. He can come, uh, he been come back and ride shotgun with Steph. Well, he already did the G League scrimmage. So he's been playing already. He got video of it. Okay, Clay. Oh, yeah, he ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he ready. All right. I can't wait to see him back. You said Y'all get all this happen so people understand. I, said, I can't wait to see, uh, see him come back. It's kind of crazy how this happened like that. So a lot of people that were, were doubters can understand. Who was and always have been the alpha of the team and the dragon force. 
they settled now. You see Boogie Cousins got picked up? Went to the Milwaukee boat. Drop my shit. Alright, alright. Alright. Hey, we're gonna uh be right back, man. For the music break, we're gonna switch it up real quick. Talk about some other stuff. I gotta look for something. But here we go, here we go, the track. Uh... No brainer entertainment. <laughs> Talk to him. Ain't no this one. Amy, shit. Ralph can't play, cause he's too juiced. I'm getting money on pay now. And welcome in my wage. I was right there and I stayed down. Fuck what they all gotta say. Falling like I'm from H-Town. I gotta put food on my plate. They see me going out of state. Ain't fuck with me, then you too late. I'm getting money on pay now. Work a minimum wage. Nah. I was right there and I stayed down. Fuck what they all gotta say. Fallin' in like I'm from H Town. Gotta put food on my plate. I gotta they see it. me going in out of state. Ain't hey, fuck with me, then you too late. Nah. I know that some niggas they mad now. Nah. Heard about hanging this bag now. Nah. Hey, all on my line for a feature. The nigga you act like a creature. I'm sick of these niggas be reaching. Why? Especially the ones they be leeching. You better be quiet while I'm speaking. Tell my little nah. nigga how hey, your phone nah. hit leaking. Nah. Tweaking, they come and they go. Your man, little bitch, wanna fuck on the low. Can't see how these niggas be wiping these hoes. She fucking no cousin, she sucking my bro. I came from the bottom, I ain't even had 20 in my pocket. I ain't even rich yet, nigga, I'm cop. Foot on the gas, you know I ain't stopping. Slot to the left, cause they pocket watch. I'm over and smooth like Michael. Diamond be dancing, they moonwalk. Little baby, she with me, she smooth talk. These niggas, my sons, I'm a cool vibe. Every move that I make, I'm a C prop. Brody got so much gas, he a green goblin. I'm moving in silence, ain't seen talk. You ain't talking about dollars, you keep up. I'm getting money on pay now And work a minimum wage I was right there and I stayed down Fuck what they all gotta say Ballin' like I'm from H-Town I gotta put food on my plate They see me going out of state Ain't fuck with me, then you too late I'm getting money on pay now And work a minimum wage I was right there and I stayed down Fuck what they all gotta say Ballin' like I'm from H-Town I gotta put food on my plate They see me going out of state Hello? What? Y'all there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Today's news. Man, y'all hear about the the case. What y'all think about that, the Aubrey case? Did we talk about that already? No, we just said, uh, well, they really have evidence. They convicted him. I know um, they pretty much admitted that dude really posed no threat. That's what I'm saying. They did what they Didn't did. he say it? He said it kind of bold, like, like he, we gonna get fine innocent anyway. Yeah, we did that shit. He ain't, he wasn't no threat. We just got him off the map. <laughs> like he wasn't shit. That was crazy. Yeah, man. No, they say um, they shot him because he was reaching for the gun. He, he felt uh, his life was in danger. Cause he was coming at him. Like, that's not a normal human response. If you feel like you're going to die, the first thing you're going to try to do is fight. Yeah, I'm glad they got him, though. They got, all, they got all of them. They got the one that shot him. They got the other one, and they got the one that filmed it. Yeah, 
That's what's up. Let's see. What else? We're going to fire up another. Another one. Uh. Uh, 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 Seth Rogen sells $485 rolling tray for rich stoners. <laughs> yeah, you know what a rolling tray is, don't you, bud? Yeah. $485 for a rolling tray. You said a rolling what? A rolling tray. So it's basically just a pan that you make, you roll up weed on. Oh, okay. For $485. Yeah, does, does it roll it for you? Nah, bro. <laughs> he don't do shit. He just selling it because he can. Damn. That's silly. So, man, what? So, that Sheba, that Sheba stock. Mm -hmm. Mm. You still got that shit? Yeah. Man. I got like 3.2 million shares. It ain't looking too good, man. That's crazy. I'm glad that it's down like it is. It just went up a little bit. I'm telling man, I want to stay down while I keep getting it. But once I hit Robin Hood, that's when it's going to go. That's when it's really going to go up. Robin Hood talking about man, not man, picking them up. You can't buy it nowhere. Robin Hood talking about not Robin Hood, they, they've been throwing out little hints they gonna do it. There's a little petition going on right now for like three hundred thousand signatures and counting. They want Robin Hood to uh, pick it up. You know, Robin Hood always be late to the party and shit, especially crypto. Now Kraken about to get ready and listed. That was one that they was waiting on. Kraken talking about they gonna uh they gonna get ready and listed on their exchange. But Robin Hood is gonna be the big one. Once Robin Hood lifts it, that's when it's gonna really fly up. Cause they want a few where you don't pay no transaction fees to deal with the crypto, and you can do it twenty four seven. And you know they want the easiest ones to read and deal with. Matter of fact, they saying cracking supposed to, it's supposed to. Uh, Start trading on uh cracking tomorrow, Sheba. That's cool. Man. All right, and then uh other news. Uh there's a new group forming called the NWD. Group called what? NWD. Dr. Dre and Exhibit are starting a group. Their slogan is MWD, straight out of marriage. Niggas with divorces. <laughs> They're serious too. He said on Instagram post, Exhibit shared on his personal profile. The cannabis entrepreneur appeared a series of photos with Dr. Dre. In a T-shirt that had the acronym MWD, <laughs> straight out of marriage on the back. <laughs> hey, them dudes crazy. <laughs> Get you an NWD they shirt, man. <laughs> they making divorces look cool. Yeah. What else I got? What else I got? We shooting them quick out here. I told y'all it's gonna be a short day. Cause I got I gotta go back fucking downstairs to the lobby. Man, what are we talking about investing? Let's be honest. Man, people need to start um getting into these stuff. You know they passed that big deal that Biden was trying to pass. Everybody needs to jump in on all these different I got a few um uh charge point, uh Volta. Um, those are some of the ones that do the charging station and stuff for these new vehicles. Blink charging, they do batteries. Um, you know, I got like a whole little list. That's just a couple of them. But like I said, oh, Lightwave Logic, they um, are some of, they're doing like the internet, making it fast and more reliable. 
um, more ergonomical. But this one they've been trying to get to, and that mug is doing very well. Like, jump on that now, people. In a year, you're going to thank me. Sound like they're going to make it easier to hack. Nah, you also need to jump into a lot of these cloud sites. And, um, Man, that, that, that cloud stuff. shit like going to I'm going to have a list next week. That cloud shit going to uh, crash and burn. Cloud. I'm telling you, that cloud shit ain't going to work. Man, that cloud's going to be everything. That shit ain't going to work, bro. Everybody use the cloud right now. That's, uh, that's what holds everything. I know, that's what I'm saying. We got everybody information. That shit, that's crazy. I, I can't trust the cloud. That's why I like memory cards. But, uh, uh, let's go to one more quick note. Let's say we got, we're going to get out here in like 20 minutes, fellas. I got to go back downstairs for their clothes. Uh, Drake and Kanye West. You know, they, 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 they squashed their beef. So, I don't know if you knew they were beef. Yeah, they, they, they kind of did, because Drake was talking shit about Kanye, how he used them for a song and stole his material and shit like that. So, it was kind of a beef. But, they, they squashed it, and now they doing a concert together, a free, free Larry Hoover concert. Y'all know the, uh, the Crip. Okay. I not for the Crips, bro. Uh huh. I'm He's from Chicago. You said Larry Hoover? Oh yeah, he Larry Hoover. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. GD, I'm sorry. GDs. Okay, Gangsters of Cyprus. I'm sorry. About time. They should have been on there. I'm thinking about Tuki on, Williams. Uh, I'm thinking about Tuki. All right. Yeah. So me, Larry, me. So they doing a concert for him, right? Guess what the ticket's going for? How much? $7,000. Those are base tickets. Wow. Man, nobody gonna be at the damn concert. Uh, I'm gonna be just to say they win. Just because the tickets cost that much. Man, that's crazy. They gonna go... They're going to feel like anybody that's in that building is exclusive. And you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The money love to feel exclusive. They, I mean, they started off at November November 2nd, 22nd. They started off at $200 and f- to $500. Then it sold out, and now there's resale prices out for seven grand each. Man, he has the most railroaded trial in the history of America. Some people just now starting to say, oh, we might need to look at getting him out. Who? Larry Hoover. Uh, and they did so much illegal stuff when it came to, uh, to him. They put him away for 200, 200 years. Uh, they, I think they they did him worse than like Al Capone's and the, and the white gangsters. Oh, yeah. That's because he had a plan, though, to, when he came out, that's where that whole little blueprint thing came out. Like, he wrote the original blueprint. Then Jay-Z took that mug and, you know, named his album after it. But he wrote the blueprint, and it was basically a, a step-by-step guide for us to put, position ourselves in positions of power, from nothing to position ourselves in positions of power. And what we need to do Man, when you start getting on that, they like, nah, we gotta put this cut away. So good. Like, uh, it's hard to even find it because uh, somebody put a little company published it for him, but it's hard to even get your hands on that mug now. They're trying to bury it. Well, they ain't trying to get buried, man. Yeah, man. That shit crazy. If I had seven grand, I wouldn't buy that ticket, though. I don't care how rich I am. That's too damn much, right? Really. Man, they be spending that type of shit on bottles at the club. That's I rather I, the bar and shit. I'd rather do that than go to the 
Man, I don't know, man. This, that's crazy. Seven grand, bro. And then if Larry Hewitt don't get free, I'd really be pissed then. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pay seven grand. This nigga still locked up for 20 grand. <laughs> Shit crazy, man. They made sure to give him enough time so they know that he will be dead when he gets out. Oh, they trying. They definitely trying. Come on, man. 200 years? I don't even get serious till it's that much. Yeah. Shit, a life is 25. <laughs> 25 <middle. laughs> So they gave him hella lives. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. I got I got to get out of here, man. This motherfucking place finna close. All right, hey, I, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Y'all tuning in for this hour. We had to keep it consistent just to get y'all content. And uh, we'll be back next week, same time, same length, and everything. Uh, any last words, Reggie? Uh, no, I'm good. Like I said, next week I'm gonna have a list, man. Of nine stocks that see what you're looking to. They ain't gonna be high cost, but they're gonna have. They got bright pieces on the horizon under this administration. Okay. Bug, any last words? Nah, everybody be safe. All right, man. Thanks for tuning in to the greatest show in the world. The Spillover. Yo, it's truly Drake Lockhead. Ready. Big bro. All right, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Ooh, you make a mess.